what's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel Lone Wolf 902. Today we're going to be taking a look at a very popular backpack that has been generating a lot of questions and comments on my channel. This is the Martin Top 75 liter tactical backpack. So let's get right into it because there is a lot to cover and there's also a very unique reason why I chose this pack. Let's get right into it. All right, so here we've got the 75 liter pack on. As you can see, it is a very large pack. This thing holds a ton of gear and it offers a lot of features. So right up here, we do have a sternum strap, which is very common on large packs. Very easy to undo. We have another waistband strap down here. Everything is fully adjustable, of course. Very nice padded shoulder straps and it fits very, very well. It is adjustable for length of torso as well. So let's get the pack off and let's get it down onto the table and start talking about the outside of the pack. So this thing has a ton of molly. You can see it's just, it's everywhere. It's on the top, it's on the side, all over the place, making this customizable. If you really have to strap molly pouches on the outside of this pack, you're, you're carrying a ton of gear because this thing holds a lot of gear. So let's start with the very bottom zip pocket down here. Very, very large pocket, by the way. It does have a key holder, so you can clip in your keys or whatever you got going on. You can do that. Has one pocket, two pocket, very large rectangle pockets. Then has organization pockets, so one pen, two, three pen holders. I like putting my spoon, fork, and knife in there. I just slide them down in there, holds it really nice got another pocket right next to it and then it has a large pocket and then it has another pocket this one with a zip that goes all the way down to the bottom so we've got a nice little organized compartment down on the very bottom the front of the pack and this main zip right here like I was saying this is a very large pocket in itself so moving up from that first pocket let's go to the second pocket this one is a little bit different it's just a open pocket so i like putting my gloves in here my hat whatever i need to jam in there and have quick access to i could do that very easy zip shut done super easy down here we do have a compression strap we're going to get into that in a little bit later when i actually open the pack but it does have a compression strap and the purpose of this is to not only compress the backpack but when you do unzip it'll unzip to that portion where this is a front and top load pack and then you can gain access scanning the bag up and the whole front won't fall open. So that helps hold it there if you need to grab items from inside. But like I said, we're gonna move inside of the pack in a little bit. I just wanna cover everything outside first. So talking about that molly again, all the way down the side, you can see we've got some D loops there or molly loops. You do have a very large pocket up top. This does not go the whole length of the pack. It actually stops right here. So it's, it's quite deep, it's about 12 inches deep put whatever you need in there, water bottle. Uh, very, very large pocket, and that is the same on the other side of the pack as well. Now, just below that, we do have a buckle, and this is a, one of those elastic kind of areas where you could, again, put another water bottle on there. Uh, that is quite deep, actually, very, very deep, and you can fit a lot of stuff in there. And it has a little buckle with a retaining strap to make sure that whatever you put in there doesn't fall out or at least helps hold it secure. Now, if you are packing long items, so if you do have an axe with you or a compact saw, you can jam that in there and then run it all the way up to the inside of this strap and buckle it in there to help hold that long item secure in the pack. So that's the sides, that's the top. Uh, or the front, I should say. The top lid does not have any unnecessary shock cordages or anything that's gonna get hung up when you're going through branches because it does come up over your head. Uh, but it does have some additional loops here. So if you do wanna hook on some things, like you can hook carabiners on there, you can lash things to the top of the pack, but I find this pack's really, really large. You don't really need to put anything on the outside. Everything should fit inside of it. So. Coming down to the bottom of the pack, kind of get right in here. It does have a built-in rain cover as well as more molly on the bottom. Uh, unzip your rain cover there, and it has a full-size waterproof pack cover in all of drab green. So this is pretty cool. It does have their branding on there. So you do have a reflective marting top branding. 
It is tethered to the bag, so this is removable, or you can leave it on. If you do need to clean it for whatever reason, you can detach it, take it off. Now, one thing that I like using these for is I will actually detach this while I'm at camp. I'll put my bag inside of my tent or under my tarp. I will use this either as a sit pad. I will sit on top of it, put some spruce boughs underneath of it to stay nice and dry, or I'll put all of my gear inside of here while I'm out camping in the snow because we know we lose things in snow. Place all of your gear inside of here. I can cover it up to keep it waterproof out of the rain, out of the snow. It also works as a nice little ditty bag to pick everything up when, while you're at camp. If you got forks, spoons, flashlights, knives, whatever you got laying around, put it in there, pick it up, carry the whole thing right inside of your tent. So that does stretch the whole length of the pack. It will cover the top, the sides, the front, you name it, everything except for where the straps are, of course, because that's where your body's going to be. But very nice tactical color. Often a lot of companies, when they include their rain covers, they'll be a bright orange, which is also very useful because you can use it as a signaling device. But this is a tactical pack. They wanted to keep it tactical, and I'm really happy that they went with the green. It suits the pack really well. So excellent for stealth camping as well. If you're hiking and you don't really want to be seen, uh, this will blend into the surrounding areas and it's a different color. So it's not just khaki. So if you're in an area where you need to change the color of your pack to kind of blend into a tree line, you've got green. So pretty interesting feature. I'm going to jam this back inside and then we'll actually move inside of the pack and talk about why I wanted the pack and what are the features that really stand out for me. All right, so like I was saying, this pack is a top load pack and up top, spin it around, we do have the zipper to access the main lid. Now I've got a sleeping bag in here just to fill the bag to kind of give it form. But you do have a very large opening to the top lid if you want to access the pack that way. Zip this shut. And it does have a weather flap over top of the zipper as well to keep all that moisture kind of running down and not going into the lid of the pack. Now, if I open this little compression strap like I was showing you guys earlier and unzip the entire zipper all the way down to the bottom of the bag, you can open the pack wide open. So let's get the sleeping bag out of the way and I'll bring it in closer and show you guys what's going on inside of the main compartment. All right, so inside of the main compartment, we do have a very large and deep hydration bladder area. Now, if you guys are new to the channel, I don't use hydration bladders, but what this works really good for me is hot tenting. So my titanium wood stoves fit right down inside of here. And that helps keep it to the internal frame of the pack and close to my body. And it helps keep it secure so it's not going to get damaged during transport. So very large hydration sleeve here. And that is basically it for the inside of the pack. It's just basically a large duffel bag. There's no pockets, there's nothing going on inside. Uh, this fabric is treated. I, I can't say it's waterproof, but I can say it is very highly water resistant. I will put my sleeping bag in here as well. And when this gets wet, I don't find it leaches inside of the, the backpack to get my gear wet. It will over time, but I don't find in, in a light rain, you should be okay. You do have the rain cover though. So remember, if it does start pouring down with rain or a lot of snow, get that pack cover out, throw it over top, and then your gear will be safe and dry. So this is the inside of the pack. Very, very plain, very simple. Makes it really easy if you're gonna be pulk sledding and this is gonna be in your sled to open up the top and simply grab what you need out of the pack. So down here, this is really interesting too because if you wanted to hang the pack from a tree, you can hang it from the, the actual grab handle and then have this open like this. And this is a camp organizer and you can keep some things in here if you need to, but this is a great little camp organizer. So we've got a lot of molly here to put whatever pouches you need to put on there. You could add things. I like putting flashlights down in here. If you've got a pocket knife with you, which I mean, we all do, right? You can take your pocket knife and slide it right down into the molly and it will stay secure in there of course you want your you want your little belt clip at the top but you, you get the idea of what i'm saying you can put your knife in there your flashlight glow sticks whatever you need to hook on there you could put on there 
It also has a very nice pocket here. I have a whole bunch of band-aids in here because who goes out without band-aids, right? Always getting cut doing something or getting hurt or injured. This area I actually use a lot for my electronics while I'm filming. I'll put my charge cables in here, my battery bank, all of that kind of interesting things and zip it shut and it stays protected. Now all these zippers are YKK, very, very good high quality zippers and it is a very, very durable bag. So that's it for the main compartment. Fairly simple on this pack. Uh, let's talk about the, the strap system, the, the buckling system, how you wear it. So like I was saying, it is adjustable. Here we've got small, medium, large. Undoing the Velcro, you can actually remove this entire harness system right off the bag and you can move it up or down and then you have the straps up here to again move it up or down. So it will fit a large torso, a small torso, medium torso, whatever you need it to fit or however you want it to ride, you can get that to go. I have mine just above the large because I don't like it too high above my head and I don't like it low where this is kind of behind my knees, you know what I mean? So. Very nice. As you can see, the pack has a huge amount of padding and ventilation. This has got to be almost one inch thick. I mean, that's very, very thick on the shoulder straps, on the lumbar, down here on your back. A very comfortable pack to use, even if you're hauling a lot of heavy gear. And that padding continues in to the waist straps, which do have pockets. So on this side, we have one large pocket where I like putting light gloves. Uh, again, band-aids and a couple trail snacks if you do need something on the trail, very easy. And then this pocket's really unique because the top actually unzips as one pocket, but then the bottom also unzips into a separate pocket. So I can't take my hand and actually go out the bottom. So whatever you put in the top is secure in the top and whatever you want to put in the bottom is only accessed through the bottom. So what I put in here often is a little scarf. I'll, I'll jam in uh, a schmog actually fits in there, believe it or not, it will cram all the way in there. And that way it, it doesn't fall out. If I need it on the trail, I can unzip, reach in, grab it, throw it around my neck, whatever I got to do makes an excellent pocket for that. So two pockets on this side, one on that side, and then having a look at the, the buckling system, as I said, does click in there, really simple, really simple on and off. The pack has a lot of customizable features. Like I said, with the D-rings, the, the loops, the molly is everywhere. This is a very large pack. I believe it's coming in at five pounds empty. You have to check martingtop.com for that information because I did realize that there was a pack similar to this and the weight was actually different. So this is a 75 liter. I also do have the 65 liter in green, which I do have a review on that pack as well. If you wanna see that, I'll, I'll, I'll put it at the end of this video and you can check my gear review playlist. Uh, both Marting Top packs that I have, this one I've had now for about three months. I've been using it a lot and I haven't had any issues with it. My other Marting Top pack I've had for two two years now going on two years and maybe a couple months and that thing has gone through everything winter summer fall gone through thorn bushes everything as this has no tears no rips no issues at all so let's move up to the hood of the pack where the final pocket is and i'm going to turn it over there's one zipper along the whole back of the hood and again i got something stuffed in here uh just a little camping chair, if you will, a little hot seat. Uh, the, the hood, again, is textured with this kind of polyurethane coating to help resist water. It's just a very large pocket. I wanna say this is probably pushing, I don't know, maybe five to eight liters. It's very, very large. It fits this entire hot seat in there and there's still room to put more gear in. So generally what I put up here is a, a jacket. If I have a light jacket, I'll cram it in there. If I'm carrying a hot seat, obviously put that in there. It makes a really large pocket to add a lot of extra gear if you need it. So like I was saying, this is a very large pack. It holds a ton of gear and Marting Top just has a way of putting together really, really good quality tactical packs that I really enjoy because when I take a pack outdoors, I'm not really gentle on it. I do take care of my gear, but if I got to go through bushes or thorn bushes, it's going through one way or another and this has not had any issues no tears no holes 
Uh, like I said, it, it is going to be ideally my main hot tenting pack just because of the way it opens up. I can open up the whole front. I can gain access to my gear. I can load it in a bulk sled flat just like it is now and lash it down. And if I do need to get into the pack for food or for whatever I need, I can just come right into the top of the pack. I can unzip part way, grab whatever I need or undo the compression strap, undo the whole pack Whatever I need to get, I, I can get it, and I don't have to worry about it. Very, very high quality. They do offer it in three colors right now, currently, I believe. The Coyote Tan, the Black, and an Olive Drab Green. Uh, they are available on Amazon at Marting Top Store. And I, I gotta say, Marting Top packs right now, and for the last year and a half, two years, have been my favorite packs. Ever since I got the 65, I've been using it as my main pack. This 75, like I said, I don't, I could fit all of my gear in here, my tent stove, my tent, my clothing, everything inside of here and not have a single item on the outside of the pack, which is really, really important for me because I don't like my gear getting snagged or getting caught up. Like I said, you can put an ax down in here. I have a Boreal 21 saw and it fits inside of the pack, no problem. Right down in the bottom, I unzip it, I lay it down, put it in, done. So you can actually fit a 19 small forest 19 inch small forest axe inside of the main compartment so you don't have to have it on the outside which is really interesting about this pack and like i said you can gain access through the front so if you do need to grab your axe you don't have to undo the top dig in reach pull out you can just unzip reach in grab do whatever you got to do so very very good for hot tenting that's why i wanted it marting top was nice enough to actually send it to me and I can't complain with that. So very good for hot tent camping. You can get your stove in there, your tent, everything, access it really, really easily. Uh, I've, I've already had this in many videos, as I've already said. I've actually carried a six person canvas TP hot tent inside of this with a camp table with my titanium stove. I had this thing loaded to 60 pounds and it was an awesome overnighter, had everything in here. And uh, of course, I didn't hike very far. I think it was a three kilometer hike in and a three kilometer hike out. So although it felt like 40 kilometers because it was heavy, uh, it, it, it handled the load. It handled the load very, very well. So if you're looking for a large tactical pack, check out Marting Top. 75 liter and the 65 liter. They both work really well for me. And I hope this video was helpful to you guys. Uh, because like I said, this, this pack has generated a lot of questions on the channel. So... Hopefully that answers all the questions that you guys may have. Very large pack and you guys will be seeing a lot more of this this winter. So I'm going to peace out and I'll catch you guys in the next video.